tonight, the parents of a local child who's been missing for weeks are in jail. Thank you for watching Queen City News at 10. I'm Robin Kennedy. Cornelius Police, the SBI, and the FBI are all still looking for Madalena Kojikari. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks has the latest on the investigation into why it took the parents three weeks to report the young girl missing. This morning, both her stepfather, Christopher Palmiter, and her mother, Diana Kojakari, were arrested. They were both charged with failure to report the disappearance of a child to law enforcement. Neighbors tell me that they were devastated to learn that 11-year-old Madalena Kojakari was not only missing, but she had been since around November 23rd. This is 11-year-old Madalena Kojakari. She's missing, and she has been since around November 23rd. She lives with both her parents, Diana Kojakari and Christopher Palmitter, but they reported her missing to her middle school resource officer at Bailey Middle School, and Cornelius Police started investigating on December 15th. Charlotte FBI and the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigations announced their involvement in the case on Friday, saying it is standard practice for the FBI to be involved in the search of the missing child younger than 12. Neighbors reported seeing authorities searching the home on Friday, looking for any clues or evidence as to where the young girl could be or what could have happened to her. Off camera, neighbors say they're devastated. They knew the family to be nice but quiet people, and they say they saw Kojakari get off the bus every day and run right home. We asked the FBI why it took so long for her parents to report her missing and whether her disappearance is officially being classified as suspicious. They tell us that's part of the investigation. Anyone with information regarding her disappearance is encouraged to call the authorities. For now, reporting in Cornelia Shakir Speaks, Queen City News. And you can find more information and the very latest on this case on our website, qcnews.com.